the Jamie Jack and Stench Talent Show Extravaganza! That's where you people show us your talent, and uh, perhaps you are on your way with a camcorder or Jerry Springer prize pack extravaganza. Yeah, and tickets to Dancing with the Stars. Right. It's great stuff. And also, uh, we'll be giving away some consolation prizes, like uh, the Singles Mingles uh, party as well. And oh. truck nuts. Oh, don't forget the truck nuts. I like that you guys have them in front of you so that you... I know. It's listen so, to the, these. That's motivation. Oh, well, yeah. the producer brought them in as That's props. That's nice. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I, <laughs> God love him. He tries, I tell you. He ya. does try very hard. And I thought that was a nice little added ambiance in here. Plastic uh, nuts. Yeah. I'm the producer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't do that. All right, go ahead. We don't need visual of that. Just because he's gay doesn't mean you need to put those nuts there. Go. All right. Anyway, here we go. Are we ready for our talent yes, show extravaganza? Yes. All three of us has buzzers. If one buzzer goes off, then you are uh, out of here. Here is Karina. Hi, Karina. Hi. 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 How old are you? I'm 11. 11. Awesome. All right. So what's your uh, your talent? Well, I'm going to be doing a, a stain from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, oh terrific. Cool. So, do you want me to start right now? Yeah, that would be great. Thank okay. you. Napoleon. I mean, Kip. Why did you eat all the freaking chips, Kip? Napoleon, don't be jealous just because I've been online with hot babes all day. Besides, we both know we're try- we both know I'm trying to become a cage fighter. Since when did you fight? Come down here, Napoleon. Oh, see, what try- see what happens if you try to hit me. Wow. What? Karina, that was good. That yeah, was uh, good. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, put you on hold and give right, you something like pretty, see. okay? Yeah, okay. Something that was really good. First person to make it through because I was riveted to know that she had dialogue from a yeah, movie memorized. Yeah, that was really good. But uh, you don't win the grand prize. You just win, like, something really cool, but I don't know what it is yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold All on. All right, cool. Can you pick her up quickly? Thank you. Pick up, pick up, pick up. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it. She's no, 11. I know. She's 11. I actually tried. wanted to hear what she had to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like you that know movie. what? Yeah, I believe you. I, I absolutely do. I like that do. movie. Here's Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hey. Hey. Hi. All right. What's your talent? I can burp. Oh, now that's yeah, cool. That's classy girl. I like that. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. Hold on. You have to give me a second, okay? Because I have to drink my soda. Sure. Okay. Hold on. We've got plenty of time. All the time in the world. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, that is too bad. Oh. Was I too quick I on the draw? I was eagerly I'm anticipating sorry. her performance. I know. Now she has one ready to go, all mustered up. I'm sorry. It just it was taking too long. This show yeah. has limits. Yeah. We have time limits, folks. We do. Laurel, hi. 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 Welcome to our talent show. What's your talent? Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. Oh, oh terrific. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so go ahead. Oh, yeah, this is called Baby. <clears throat> Baby, the moon is in the sky. Wow. You didn't you, even give, you her, didn't much give time. her a chance. You can't, you can't come on the show and expect to sing serious, like, wow. like that kind of music. Are we going to get anybody just give them oh, a chance at all? You gong the last one. Well, you he, gong the burger. She was, because why? There was no talent for five minutes. You guys are mean. Shut I, up. I know. I know. I. I'm with him. you. I don't know what's wrong with him. That I wasn't was, mean. Mine was a time restraint. Wasn't appropriate talent. God. Here's Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hi. 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 We're good. Well, what can we do for you there, Chris? Well, we started the day out kind of mean, so you, you got to forgive me for what I'm going to foretell. Oh. Um, what, what's your talent? Wait, what's your talent? It's your, you, uh, I'm a psychic. Your guys' is future. Oh, Oh, awesome. okay. All right. Um, we'll start with Jack. Uh, I foretell that Jack... Is going to be a wussy with a little dog and a slave to sparkles for the next 40 years. Oh, that's accurate. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty that's, accurate. That, yeah. That's okay. not the future, though. Um, <laughs> that, that's, that's now. Well, that's a, for the next 40 years. That's status quo. All right, you yeah. better hurry up because you're getting ready to get buzzed. Jack, he was just going to tell us all the crap we already know uh, about ourselves. I wanted to hear my future because I'm about me. <laughs> 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 Angie, hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi. I think this talent show is going really well, don't you guys? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Really giving people a chance. All right, awesome. so what's yours? Um, I do an impression of when you go to a nail salon and get your nails done. As oh. a lady said. Awesome. All Here right. comes something politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Angie. Okay. Um, Hi, what color you like me to do for you? Oh uh, no, no, no good, no good. Let me see. Bad on it. Okay, I like it. Oh, you're so beautiful. I like you. Okay, come here. 
Oh, I like you. Oh, no, no, go, go, go. No, five dollars too much, go. Oh my God, I love her because oh God, Angie, good. hold on, uh, she's a finalist. Can I tell you why? We must go to the same place. Wow! I'm telling you, we go to the same place. Except for that, my lady says, "Pick a color, pick a color, five more minutes, pick a oh color." God. I need my nails done now. No, pick a color, five more minutes. Oh, Angie that, and I go to the same place. That was good. Angie's the best one so far. Yeah, I like Angie. That's some talent. Yeah, that yeah. is nice talent. Because you know why? She was dead on. Where I felt like I was in her salon. Yep. That's why I see, folks. This is the kind of talent we're looking for, where you feel like you're in the moment. Like I felt like I was, I was getting my nails done. I felt like I smelled the chemicals. An appropriate talent for this show. Yeah, it really yeah. was. That was really great, Angie. Okay, we're going to continue our talent show. Uh, it looks like we have a, uh, what's a Jewish rapper? Oh, oh I go. like Jewish rappers. But good news, we do have a donkey call. Oh, nice. Okay. Somebody See, I'm doing, into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Good that's stuff. the kind of talent that we have. And we will get back to it. Uh, Jack, I think well, you have to play. How's it going, producer Poodle? Hey! Not so good. Oh, you oh. are a dog. Yeah, you're down. Down. I've been having fun. Me and don't too. make me play that promo again. Yeah. You didn't like Nail Salon Lady? I love Nail Here, Salon. Here, maybe why this is why it's not going so good. Um, excuse me? Any, anyone there? Well, it's time for the Jamie Jack and Stench talent show extravaganza! And it goes on for 14 more seconds before Monica goes, what happened? <laughs> hey, give Alex a break. He was proud of that. Oh, oh that's a shame. All right, um, it is the talent show extravaganza. Yay. We do this about Yay. once every two years. Uh, yeah, yeah, bring it out. We bust it out a couple every couple of years. All right, and we have Jessica on Yay. the line. Hi, Jessica. Hi. Hi. What's your talent? My talent is that on the way to work, I get so bored that I write new voicemail songs for my cell phone. So when people call me, they don't get the boring old standard. Hey, leave a message. It's Jessica. Oh. So are you ready for it? Yeah. yeah, sure. All right. Here we go. Here's one of them. This is your fantasy, your highest dream, to leave a message on my answer machine. <laughs> so when you hear the beep, just leave a little peep, and I'll get back to you before I go to sleep. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! I like that. Jessica, you're a finalist in the right. talent show. Jessica. I like anything born of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, Jack? Don't we all? All right, here's Jesse. Hi, right, Jesse. What's your talent? Hey, you guys rule, first of all. We, we rule. rule! Go ahead with your talent. I can speak in four different languages. What, at the so, same time, or? No, just like, let's say whatever you guys want to hear in a different language, I can say it. What four languages do you know, my friend? Well, I count as English for sure, uh -huh. Spanish, Italian, and French. And oh. then I would do sign language, but yeah, yeah. obvious reasons. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you even make it off the launch pad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, yeah. You know, you know yeah. just by description, it's right. not boring. <laughs> Kara? Yeah. Are you practicing? I am. All right. We like somebody that said certain practices in traffic. Nice. <laughs> I love that's, you guys. That's dedication that right there. That is good. All right. Go ahead, Kara. What's your talent? Oh, I'm a singer. Yes. Yes, you are. Go ahead. What, what are you going to sing? Oh, I'm doing a little piece of a white snake song. Oh, oh yeah. Right, yeah. An oldie, but as they say, a goodie. And get out and roll around yeah. on your hood. Mm-hmm. All right. I love you guys. Here yeah. I go. Go. Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this the love that I've been searching for? Is this love or am I dreaming? Is this the love because it's really got a hold on? I feel bad because she loves I this cannot show. believe no, you guys. I'm not she was really this nice guy. out of the box Every and I feel bad. I got a box. person with like a real talent. I get accused of being mean by right. producer boy. I now we're but wussies. We're, we're going to yeah. put her into the mix and she's not going to win. I'm gong show. Now <laughs> we're wussies. Okay, hold on. No, it's too late. I put her on hold. Yeah, she's she, a finalist. She made it. No, it's too late. No, You're gone. Now. Too late. You're gone. We no, have no, too late. no, You're gone. no. They took she's our a nuts finalist. away I'll be show. the mean one. Missy, hi. 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 God. We rule. Go ahead. What's your talent? I can do a donkey call. Oh, wow. Actually, we have, hold on. Hey, Missy, can you hold on? Sure. All right, you haven't been gonged or anything. Oh, uh, then there's number. Of... Hey, Amy. Yeah. You got a uh, donkey in your rep repertoire? I don't have a donkey. I have seals, dogs, monkeys, elephants, whales. Okay, hold on. All right, uh, wow, yeah, I like that she has like a library. A what are you? Hey, uh, Brandy. Yes. What you got? 
I have an elephant. All right, you oh, nice. have one. And then, uh, Leslie? Yeah? You got a pig? I just got a pig, but you know, I'm probably the only 44-year-old who can do a pig. Oh, that's okay. right. All right, hold on. I then, don't know. I've met some. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie? Yeah? All right, what do you got? Well, let's see here. I've got a dog. I'm sorry. I've got a horse, and I've also got a goat, and I can also do a pig as well. All right, so here we go. We have Eddie, Leslie, we have Brandy, Amy, and Missy, right? Are all of you there? We're yeah. all there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Barnyard animals for 500. Go ahead. All of you. <laughs> There's some really good ones. Wow, there are some good ones. <laughs> wow. wow. That elephant's that solid. That elephant is good. I didn't mind the pig either. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> let them all hold on. We got to sort it out let the cream rise to the top. That was good. That was really Any great. favorites? I like the elephant. <laughs> elephant? I like the pig. Okay, yeah. well. <laughs> the dog, there was a good dog in there, too. Somebody did. Hey, Brandy? Yes. Yeah, you're in the finals, okay? Woo! Yay! Wow. Yay! Yay! Yeah, that was really good. And uh, let's see here. Hey, Leslie? Yeah? Can you, can you try your pig again? That you're kind of on the fence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So okay, here we go. <laughs> See? She is good. I told she God, is that's good. good. <laughs> I know. God, that's good. That is that's that's beautiful right wow. there. <laughs> Amy, oh. uh, yeah. we weren't you didn't really wow. come through. What what did you have for us? I was the dog. All right. Oh, oh, let me hear. There was a good dog. There was? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, that was oh, that's no, not the no, one. No. I can do a bird too. Oh, oh. my bye. Sorry. Mm, gosh. <laughs> Here's Eddie. Eddie, you had which part of that whole thing? I had all three. I had goat, the horse, right? the goat, and I had a wow, pig. Wow, wow. All right, go ahead and show us. Okay, the goat. Wow. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid gold right there. Yeah, that is solid yeah. gold. Thank you, Stench, for that analogy. <laughs> Missy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Missy, go ahead. You're with your donkey. We're just making our final cut on, on all of these. Yeah. yeah. All right, so who do we have? Uh, who, Eddie, Leslie, and Brandy. Eddie, Leslie, and Brandy. All you right. guys are moving on to the finals. Moving on to the finals. Okay, and let's see here. As part of the talent show, it's Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hey, how are you doing? <sighs> You're yeah, working hard, working hard. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like it. Mm. All right, so what's your talent? Jamie, you're going to love this one. Um, when I get off work and my boyfriend calls, because he calls all day, I pretend, well, basically, I pretend like my cell phone's cutting out. So that's my mad skill. Why don't you break up with him? Not to get into that show, but... Because yeah. <laughs> he's hot. Oh, and oh. this is her mad skill. Okay, all right. Go break ahead. it off, girl. Go ahead, Melissa. Okay, hey, wait, Jack, pretend to call me. Uh, okay, <laughs> do I have to ring? <laughs> or can mm-hmm. I just say, hi, Melissa, it's Jack. Hey, uh, yeah, home, um, really? Oh, <laughs> Melissa, are you yeah. there? Oh, yeah, honey, okay, I'll call you later. I can't hear you. <laughs> and then I hang up. I thought it was good. No, I Because I've... for a split second, I almost said, oh, my God, her phone's breaking up. That means that's good acting. Talk to the buzzer. <laughs> I can't. It's pink, and it's a Barbie. <laughs> and it scares me. So there. Here's Michelle, or Mitchell. I'm sorry, Mitchell. Yes, hi. Hi, hi. Mitchell. Hi. Welcome to our talent show. Go ahead. You guys rule. We, we rule. rule. All right, I'm a Jewish rapper, right? Okay. Right. Okay. One, two, one, two on the microphone. Check it. Just close your mouth. Don't say a word. Check it. I said, hi. Hello. How do you do? My name is Mr. Big Stuff. The man the Jew. I said, give me some bagels, lots of cream cheese. Give me some more and I will eat it with ease or eat it all up at incredible feet for $3.99. Oh, oh my Jack. God. Why? You're Jack. Mel Gibson over there. You know what? No, just, <laughs> why do you hate the Jewish going. people? Why do you nothing, hate yeah, Jewish people? They can't break with, off yeah, the had to do with the rap skills. No, he was good. He, yeah. he did bagels and cream and was cheese funny. and a rhyme with the cream cheese. He was like that a Jewish nice. M&M. He was funny. <laughs> I liked him. Jewish M&M. I was like, what color is that M&M? <laughs> <laughs> but a- yeah. and a M&M. M&M, M&M the yeah. rapper. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I was like, what? Huh? what? Here's Linda. Hi, Linda. 
Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our talent show. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay, hold on a second. I got to put the phone down. Um, with all the talk about kids and stuff, I thought this would be appropriate. I'm going to do an imitation of an infant crying. Oh, terrific. And it's fun to do when the mall's closed and you're the only one in there. And hey, they- Linda, get to it, or Jack's uh, heavy all on the right, button. All right. Yeah, I got hold the on. buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> why why did I get her? I don't She's know. not my friend. You're because you kept her through the whole description. Yeah. yeah. You make the call. We gotta tally it's, our votes. It's off Linda. the air. Oh, I'm not done with this yet. Oh, oh yeah, well, no, we have we're the keep playmate going. Well, we just right take now. a break, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Well we're, let's get more just one more round, because we have some really good ones and then we'll get the playmate. Okay. Is she here or is she on the phone? She's I think she's here. In. She's she coming in. Oh, because yeah. she has good gossip. By the she's way, what they're great. talking about is the playmate who has written a tell-all book about what it's like to live in the mansion. She's going to be awesome. But this is kind of wooing my heart right now. Oh, yeah. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm having like, fun. I'm really in it. I'm like in the moment. I'm like, I... I... Jamie. Okay. Are we ready to end this, sucker? Wait a second. What? Yes. When we went into the break, you were saying how much fun you were having. You wanted to take another break, and now you come out and but you're like, Jack, it's uh, so much work over this. here. You know what so, happened over the break? It's just a lot of work. It is just a lot. I'm of work. ready to end it because there is a really hot girl getting ready to come in here, and it's creepy time for Stitch. It's. Oh. <laughs> she wrote the book Bunny Tales Behind Closed Doors at the Playboy Mansion. Oh, yeah. So we will talk to her. Uh, so we're going to end this uh, little thing. We're going to take our last. Last potential, uh, what do you call them? Round of calls. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here is Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Hi. How old are you? I am 15, 16. Sorry. Oh, oh well, nice. mm, that's it. All right, so uh, what, what do you got going on there, sister? I can play a little bit of the keyboard. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. All right. Did you say keyboard or keepler? I know. Key- keyboard. I can oh. play that Stacy keyboard to death. <laughs> She's 15. Oops. 16. Come on, Jack, be mean. Oh, yeah, Jack! Rings oh, in before I do. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's sad right there. Because she had talent. Well, she had heart and soul like nobody. Yeah, at least she's young and she can direct that talent somewhere. She was you no know, elephant she call. had the other part of that. The dun-dun-dun, da 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 you know? You just need a few more fingers, sister. Anyway, here's Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was just bringing my daughter to school, and I just happened to call him like, let me do my cat noise. All right, All right. we got yeah. a cat. It's a whining, frustrated cat. All right. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. All right, why do I have the buzzer already? Meow. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm the mean one. (laughs) If I buzz someone, it's mean. If you guys buzz someone, it's mean. Oh, no, that one was justified. Yeah. I I just second guess everything I do around here. (laughs) Welcome to our world. (laughs) Derek, hi. 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 Go ahead. (laughs) Okay, all right. Uh, This is Kermit the Frog. Uh, The old Kermit the Frog, if you will. Oh, the good one. Yes, all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. (laughs) Uh, Jamie, Jack, Stench, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I I want to sing something for you. Um, It'll go a little, huh, something like this. Uh, Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Oh, something for the producer, too. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That was good. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, we're going to put you on hold. Pre-death Jim Hansen Kirby. Yeah, that was good. Man, it was like he was still alive, wasn't it? It was creepy like that. Here's Travis. Hi, Travis. Hi. 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 Go ahead with your talent. All right. First Nation of a Little Dog. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. All right, and here is Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi. 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 Go ahead. Well, I, I hope it's not a nervous monkey. Okay, here we go. Huh? Monkey? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. What's not to love about a monkey? I beg to differ. What the hell's wrong with you two? It's cranky. <laughs> Here's London. Hi, London. Hi. 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 How old are you? Nine. Good. Yeah. Tell Stenchy to be careful because you're only nine. Stop! <laughs> she hasn't even done anything. She hasn't yet. even done anything yet. London, go ahead. 
Okay, this is a song that I made up with my mom and my friend. See how precious is this? Go I ahead. I had a bad day. I went to the store. I bought a green frog and it peed on the floor. She said peed. You like that she word? She said peed on the floor. She like, you like that word pee? She said peed on the floor. She bought a green frog and it bleed on. Talk to the buzzer. He's okay! Mean. <laughs> he's mean. I know, he's a hateful See, man. See, I blind got she him on mean! She nine, and she said a word you like. It's like farting to you. She said something almost dirty for you. <laughs> Eric, hi. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Hi. hi. We're good. Uh, what do you got, Eric? Oh, cry, Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she justified, not me. Yeah, that one's okay. Oh. <laughs> Whitney, hi. 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 I can do a monkey. Great. Good luck. The noise, the noise that is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these two hate monkeys. Good luck with you. Oh, yeah, I know. Ready? You're an asshole. Oh, see that when it gets spastic? Oh, oh, I like monkeys. Are you kidding me? You're kidding. You're just being like that, right? <laughs> Heidi. Hi. 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 What do you have? I have a really awesome chicken sound. Okay, go ahead, awesome chicken sound person. <laughs> you don't like the chicken either? Why didn't you like the chicken? Why do the you hate farm just, animals? Uh, <laughs> Why do I feel like David Hasselhoff? Like, I'm the crazy one. <laughs> I don't want to be Brandy, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> All right, who is it between? Derek and Angie? Yeah. Is that who it's between? The nail lady and the uh, and Kermit? What? Yes. Yeah. And right. the elephant person, I yeah, thought. The elephant was really All right. Good. Oh, oh. Well, let's and just, the elephant. Uh, let me see. I've got my winner. Everybody want to write their winner down, and then we'll see. Okay, I'm going to write it down. Yeah. What are the, what's the name of the elephant person? I don't know. What's the name of the elephant? Obviously, that's not mine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this is Brandy. who I picked. Yep, yep, me too. Okay, Who'd yeah, yeah we're all good. Angie, all Angie, right. everyone wrote Angie. Okay. Hey, Angie. Yeah. You win. Yay! Yay! show everybody what your talent was. Okay, are you guys all ready? Yeah, yes. ready. Okay, I need someone to come into my salon, please. Oh, hi, <laughs> it's me. I'd like to get my nails done. Oh, uh, you know, I don't like your nail. It's too ugly. Oh, no, go, go. Um, okay, $5, I do good for you, okay? <laughs> Maybe $10 for you. I don't know, you know? I don't, you're so beautiful. <laughs> All right, Angie! Right. Yeah. All right, She's the winner of our talent show doing an impression of everybody's nail person. And here's what she won. She's got a really cool prize, a digital camcorder. Plus, you qualify to win a trip for two to Chicago to attend the taping of the Jerry Springer Show. The new season starts September 25th at 10 a.m. on KTLA. Plus, you get a pair of tickets to see Jerry compete on Dancing with the Stars Tuesdays at 8 on ABC. Congratulations! Yay, Angie! Yeah. All right, coming up next, Bunny Tales. Behind closed doors yeah. at the Playboy Mansion. All the gossip when we come back. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is uh, something we've been really excited about because, you know, I told you those girls next door drove me insane because they're like, no, everything's great. No, we love it. <laughs> and they, I just want to smack them upside the head because I'm like, there's got to be some other story. To a the downside, a dark side to the whole thing. Yes. Well, guess what, friends? We found her. Isabella St. James has written a new book. It's called Bunny Tales, Behind Closed Doors at the Playboy Mansion. Let me just read you a couple of excerpts from it. Uh, the cat fights the relationships between the girlfriends who are always, who are not always the happy family that have publicly claims. Also, it says uh, the strict rules the girlfriends have to abide by, including a 9 p.m. curfew, no boyfriends, mandatory party, movie, and wow. sex nights. Mm -hmm. I want to come over for sex night. The surprisingly shabby accommodations inside the Playboy Mansion include soiled mattresses, used sheets, and filthy carpets. Also, it says uh, he is not really the king of kink that many believe he, he to be. The role of Viagra, baby oil, and porn plays in the uh, in his ability to perform. Oh, wait a minute. How old is he? 80? He's 80 years old. So, yeah, Viagra has to play a part in, in his, you think? his lovemaking <laughs> roles. All right, so you were part, before the Girls Next Door, the, the, um, the reality show, you were part of the seven girlfriends that he always kind of rolled yes. around with, right? Yeah, uh, for two years I lived at the Playboy Mansion, dated him for two and a half years, yeah. So he was, what, only 80? <laughs> he was, I was 26 and he was 76. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, there's an age difference. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> and uh, you were part of one of seven girls? When I moved into the mansion, there were only two girls. But um, as time went on, yeah, we went up to 
seven. seven. How, how do you feel about that? It, you're his girlfriend. You can't date anybody else. He apparently can date six other women. And as he keeps adding, are you like, hey, wait a minute, five's enough? <laughs> right. Well, you know, to be uh, honest, he he was very forthcoming about the relationship. He wasn't, you know, he was married for ten years, and yeah. I think that was enough of that for him. And he seemed to be getting a lot more publicity. The more girlfriends he got, the more attention he got from the media and press. Yeah. So he was honest about what he was looking for, and none of the girls had any illusion or shouldn't have that you know they were going to. Yeah, be here's the only what one. I don't get. I don't get how he gets girl, beautiful women to well, agree to that. Well, because he's rich, and this is what where I'm going with that is that y- usually you think they're dip craps and bimbos and all that, but you have your degree in law and you're a smart cookie from what, Pepperdine. Yeah, what made you right. get suckered into that? Yeah. Well, you know, I'd been in school for so long at that point. I went to McGill University in Montreal, Canada, and then uh, Pepperdine Law School in Malibu. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I met him, it was my last semester in law school. I actually graduated a semester early, so I thought it was, it gave myself time to play, so to speak. And I just, you know, I was at a crossroads in my life. I'd just been studying for so many years, my nose between my books for so long. I just needed a break. Like, I wow. just your nose? So I know I'll go, from nose the the I'll go from <laughs> law school to, oh, a 76-year-old boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that's when I met him. And he was so charming and so nice and sweet. And, you know, he was wooing me like any boy would pursue a girl calling me. And um, he's 76. I yeah, know, he's but no you know, boy. honestly, you don't notice the age when you How does he woo? Have. How does half woo? Does he like just? Compliment you, money. shower you with gifts. What happens? You know, showers you with compliments and, and calls you, mess you out, and just makes the whole lifestyle and, and the mansion seem so great and fun and, you know, free. It was just such a contrast with <laughs> yes, life as is. I knew it. So, <laughs> Well, and then let's go into that. And by the way, if you all have any questions, because I'm so excited about this. Nobody ever talks about the scandal of the Playboy right. Mansion. So 1-800-STAR-97 if uh, there's, there's something we're missing here, because I'm sure there is, because every time this happens, and we're like, damn it, we should ask for this. Like, do they f- <laughs> Febreze away the old man smell? Oh! oh. <laughs> now, that wasn't one of my questions, Jack. Uh, <laughs> I thought I saw your list. But it did say that uh, soiled mattresses use sheets and filthy carpets is something you put in your book uh, bunny tales well I, I guess uh, you know living in Los Angeles and watching like shows like MTV Cribs you expect the mansion to be this super glamorous beautiful place and it is in many respects architecturally it's very beautiful a lot of beautiful woodwork but I was surprised when I moved in my room just had really mismatched furniture and everything had been so worn out and I certainly thought that I was going to get a new mattress, you know, but, it, but we didn't. So I just went out and bought it my own sheets. It reminds me of like, like a, a dorm. Well, no, it reminds me. Yeah. Have you ever been yeah. to, and like I said this to the girls, uh, that no, Elvis's old house? Oh, like it's like shag carpet. It's just stuck, and it's stuck in a time warp? Yeah. It seems to be stuck in a time where it, not a lot of things have been updated or changed, but I think it has to do with the fact that Hef doesn't own the house. It's the company who owns the house. So I think any upgrades or changes have to be approved. Oh, by that nasty daughter that's the boss, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How is she? She's a tough cookie. Yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, wouldn't you be? I'd be so scorned. Yeah, your dad's blowing all, the, all your money. Yeah. Wow. They said you said money. Right. <laughs> I was just like, what was that word going to be? <laughs> Lydia, hi. 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 Oh, hi. Guys, I love you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. You have a question for Isabella St. James. She is the author of Bunny Tales. Uh, um, I was just wondering if Hef gave you guys money every month. I always wondered that. Like, how do you guys live? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know? Hef doesn't want the girls to work because he wants us available for promotional things and interviews and photo mm-hmm. shoots. So he gave us $1,000 a week um, cash every week. Just for, you know, gas wow. and clothing and yeah. What about a 401k plan? Okay, but hold no. on. That's like, <laughs> if, if he's know. giving you cash every week, $1,000, that's like making roughly $100,000 a year, you know, after taxes. 48000 right? Yeah, you, you get, yeah, after right. you make hundred grand, you end up with about fifty at the end of the year after taxes. So that that's a nice chunk of money. Well, and it says, uh, what, 24-hour room service, unlimited plastic surgery? Well, oh. it's not really unlimited, but most, most girls do have their breasts augmented when they move in. It and seems like it. there's just it. a lot of pressure everybody has them done. So, yeah, he willingly pays for it. I mean, of course, the better you look next to him, the better he looks, right? Spa, yeah. beauty treatments, cars, parties. Cars? What kind of cars do you have? Well, he what he does is um, he used to buy the cows, cars outright for the girls, but because they would take off. You know, oh. with the cars, he learned not to do that, so he just puts down like ten grand and then pays for your payment as long as you live there. But as soon as you move out, it's all you know your responsibility. Do you feel like you were a prostitute at all? 
No, no, I don't because what you, about know, that only, other girl? you only get the car as long as you live there, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, he that's supports kind of the lifestyle as long as. You know, like that's kind of the way. Like, no, you, because it's not exchange for sex. You don't get a car because you have sex with them. Whether you have sex with them or not, you still get all the perks of living at as the As long mansion. as you live there, you Did get Did any of the girlfriends yeah. not have sex with them? I didn't for many months. You know, towards the end of the relationship, I lived there for two years. I, I didn't because I just, I we lost the emotional connection. I just thought it was the a very superficial relationship. And he was 76 and, and yeah. he grossed you out? No, he turned 77 no, that year. No, and you know, I, <laughs> I was really there because of my friendships with the girls. That's how you get stuck in being there for so long because you have this, like, interdependent relationship and you don't want to abandon your friends, basically. And then so. just, so once you're not putting out, does he kick you out? Yeah, no, what happens No, he doesn't. Then? He's, yeah, like, he's very, he's a creature of habit. He, he likes to have the same people that he knows and trusts around and he's not going to ask you to leave unless you do something really you know out of line wow this is we got to talk about the sex thing yeah, yeah. we got to talk about viagra talk about and all kinds of, of things and also now she's married and what's that like the husband knowing that that she boned the old guy i'll put it a little differently <laughs> i'd though. be okay, okay with that good. when we friends? come back yeah here with Isabella St. James, and she's written a scandalous, scandalous book. I like it. It's a good read. About uh, closed doors at the Playboy Mansion. You've heard everything. We all know living here that the Playboy Mansion, everybody wants to go there, be seen there, blah, 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 blah. But she's written a new book about what it's really like to be behind the doors because she lived there for two years. Yes, two years. Now, um, and I know we have some questions, by the way. If you have any questions, 1-800-STAR-987 about stuff I'm missing because I'm sure I am. But how come uh, he doesn't make you guys sign, like, a confidentiality uh, agreement? Like, how can you get away with writing this? Right. Well, because it's just normal relationship like any other. I mean. No, it's not a normal relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I never give a, any girlfriends that kind of money. Think, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and not only that, but, I mean, I don't have a sex schedule. Yep. I don't have a curfew. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't have... Uh, well, when you meet him and it's, you know, you're getting to know him, it's meant to sound like it's just normal relationship. Oh. So you don't sign a contract or anything. One girlfriend at a time, yeah. usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually, yeah. So I'm, it, <laughs> he warps them. I like him, though. I got, if, if you could talk these beautiful women into this, more power to you. crazy. Debbie, hi, what's your question? Hi. Hi. I wanted to know if you got completely pleasured by him. Did you ever have an orgasm by him? No, never. Oh. In two years? In two years. And yeah. you had no other men. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to now. Well, she probably, you know, you know how girls do things. Uh, is there anything going on between the other girls? <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, yeah. terrific. So now it just Sometimes. got better. <laughs> yeah. Because I wondered if y'all were a bunch of lesbians behind there. No, no. You know, um, None of the girlfriends were. I mean, sometimes when you have a few drinks it's and like you're in prison. that kind of atmosphere, you tend <laughs> to go with things. Pillow fight, get crazy. But, by the way, your fantasy has finally come true. There are pillow fights with girls in panties. Yes. Oh. And it's behind the mansion. <laughs> oh, I have to adopt me. The pillows are dirty. The cases, oh. the pillow fine. cases are dirty. Fine, oh, fine, no, fine. No. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, yeah, because I wondered, you know, I've seen that girls next door, and sometimes they're all naked together, and I'm thinking, well, Hef's not doing the trick, so maybe, you know. So, uh, I have more questions about the sex then. We're back to half. <laughs> There's no orgasm it's ever with half in guy. two years. So, you, and you were having sex with them on like how often? Um, you know, initially the beginning of the relationship was like a regular, somewhat regular, I guess, like once a month. What's but a, that's uh, regular. Well, well, when you were when you rotate you seven, seven girlfriends. <laughs> when you have five other girlfriends, yeah, yeah, you know. And after that, did that um, ever make you no. sad? Uh, <laughs> or were you like, I I'm glad it's her night tonight, not mine? You know, I just uh, just kind of go with At the what point did you realize, okay, maybe this is crazy? About six months into yeah, the relationship. When, like, when, you know, you stop having fun and the partying is kind of like, okay, I've been to all the parties done and now I don't want to drink anymore. Yeah. yeah. And then you realize, wow, this really is kind of a superficial kind of empty lifestyle. How and many times can I hang out with Bill Mayer? <laughs> right. I'm totally sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. the truth, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> it is. And but yet uh, you can't have a boyfriend or anything, and so you're just like yeah, sitting there you lonely. Can't. You know, it doesn't mean that the girls don't. Uh, everybody, except for Holly, does have something going on outside of the mansion. Ooh, you know, yeah. even Bridget, Damn. the one that's dating him now, she's married, and uh, she's married. Yeah. Yes, wow. still married, and I know that Shocker. you know. I like that. Other girls, every single girl, I don't know what he tells himself, but every single girl had something going on outside the mansion. That's now, just how is Bridget married and yet yeah. she's still 
Well, I guess the story was that her husband gave her a year to come to LA and make it in the entertainment world, mm -hmm. and so she, you know, met half and uh, moved into the mansion. And I, and you know, it. whatever she tells him, <laughs> she tells him in their private life, and uh, she does what she needs. So to he's hear. okay with it because she's kind of making it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh. With making it with an old yeah, guy. Yeah, wasn't that like the basis of that Star 80 movie or one of those a long time ago? Yeah, the then the boy comes oh, in and then yeah. kills her or whatever. crazy on yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is exactly what that's yeah. about. And she was a playmate. Holy Toledo. Well, that's nuts. Here's April. Hi, April. Hi. 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 What is your question? I wanted to know if uh, the girlfriend get checked um, for STDs or anything like that before they be or they actually get to go inside the house because you're obviously all sleeping with him. Um, no, nothing, no, like, testing is, <laughs> no screening is required before you can become a girlfriend, but, of course, everybody um, is very careful about their health and does get checked. Does Hef ever regularly. wear a condom? Yeah, protected? No, he doesn't wear condoms. Mm. No, wow, bareback and Hef. You know, wow, like, thanks again, for that. It's just, he's just a creature of habit and what he's been doing since, you know, back in the day. Because I wouldn't us. worry about the girls being tested, I worry about him being tested. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's boning a lot of women, well, you guys. He's yeah. very, uh, he discloses everything. Um, what, know, what does he have? I, does he have know, herpes? I can't say, but, you know. Yes, you can, can't she? <laughs> no, I can't. She probably yeah. doesn't want to. you got to prove it as yeah. a whole thing, and she is a law student, so I'm going to go with her. <laughs> uh, so he has something, maybe? I just maybe? mean, if he's not feeling well or if something's wrong, he discloses it to you, and so it's. That was outbreak talk right yeah. there. Oh, <laughs> open channels Wow, and we're getting the look. Yeah. Open channels of communication. Hugh right. has the okay, herpes. Okay, here's another one. Allegedly. Did allegedly. You that, did you? Yeah. And we, we didn't allegedly. get that for, for Can she say allegedly? She can't say anything. <laughs> she can't say anything, but we can now, say allegedly. If you, you if obviously didn't get to completion well. with Hef, but now does Hef finish every time? Uh, By himself, yeah. Oh, he doesn't with you? He doesn't oh, with the girls. Oh, it got even more interesting. No girls. No. Do you ever see men around the wow. mansion? Like, do you think that have ever uh, dabbled in men? No. Or those monkeys? No, I, no. no, I do not. <laughs> God. I wonder no, about I'm those. just asking because you wonder. He gets, I mean, he has so many beautiful women at his beck and call. And he doesn't have orgasms with them. He has orgasms with himself, which is kind of weird. So there's that. And then so you're thinking, does he get bored of women? Because he has all these women at, you know, at his right. disposal is yeah. a weird word And to you use. hear about guys that have so many women that they go, they go to the other side for thrills. Uh, you know, I really can't testify to what Hef has done throughout his entire life, but I know the two and a half years that I knew him, there was absolutely no men, no gay porn, nothing Just like outbreak. that. I know there's, I know there's That's rumors, a but a lot of women, <laughs> but, a lot yeah. of women. Wow, this is crazy. I think it's, we learned something it's cool. It's awesome, though. I mean, it's cool to see inside because <laughs> we've always thought and always wondered. I know, I know. It's a great book. Here's you. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Hi. I, I have a question for about Holly, his current girlfriend. Is she a control freak, and does she have the final say-so of who comes in? Um, she is a control freak because, you know, she's very possessive of him, and she lives in a world where she would like to be the only one with him. Uh, she, I don't know how much say she has, but she certainly makes it very uncomfortable for new girls to join the group or become his girlfriends, and she likes to, you know, badmouth them so that he's not interested. Um. Yeah. She, okay, she must have a baby too. When yeah, she was she, in here, she yeah. told us. Holly must have his baby. She's the very serious girlfriend she's right now. She's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> she really wants to be half girl. I mean, she's the other two. We make fun of half, and they right. laugh. She would get mad at us, and she's I really into. I think the half. other ones are just for a good time. You know, um, I know certainly Kendra's young. She just wants to have fun and enjoying the limelight. Uh, Holly's motivations are different. I can't imagine her having a baby during the time I lived at the mansion. She was very, uh, definitely not maternal at all whatsoever and uh, didn't seem to be interested in the family. Well, maybe I, she knows he's going to be kicking soon and yeah. she's got to get some cashish. Uh, exactly. That's and, a way to, uh, that, that is a cash in. Yeah, and I know that you don't know. I'm just saying. It's yeah. our theory. It is our theory. We are good right. at speculating. Like a grassy knoll. <laughs> right, the sudden change. Yeah, I understand. Now, does he write you guys all into the will or what's... No, uh, I don't think so, and uh, I certainly never it had never crossed my mind. But the rumor around the house was that as soon as Holly moved into his room and got a key to his like secret box, she checked out the will, oh. maybe to see if other girlfriends had been written and evaluate her chances of being in it. I have no idea. A secret secret that was box. The rumor. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know there were any secret or, you know, boxes yeah. there. In the wall. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Wow. His hidden vault. Because she's Maybe the one Geraldo that can the room, open it so after she knows he dies. Where everything is, yeah. <laughs> that's right. She's the only one that spends the night in there. Yeah. So normally everyone else will go and have fun with Hef and then go back to their little room. 
Yeah, Building exactly. Dorm. Wow. All right, we have a. Um, can you stay for another break with us? Yes, yeah. Course. Okay. Uh, right, we awesome. have more questions for her. the The book is called Bunny Tales. It's Isabella St. James. Bunny Tales behind closed doors at the Playboy Mansion.